I'm going to rush through the boring parts of cars taking damage so we can get to the interesting stuff. Damage does scale with the speed you hit things. A crash around 30 miles per hour does between 5 to 12 percent hood damage. This is similar when reversing at that speed. You can assume any crash that plays the crash sounds cause damage. Very low speed crashes with inanimate objects can do damage. The hood or trunk being opened does not appear to change the way damage is taken. Crash damage to the sides of the vehicle propagates to the trunk. Sadly, doing reverse donuts does not protect your hood. Zombies collide close enough to the front to activate the hood hitbox. Running over mailboxes and small cones does not do damage, but garbage cans do. Avoid things that slow or stop the car. There's a lot of small objects I didn't test here, but it's best to not hit things. Now let's get into the meat of this topic, zombie related damage. Zombies do about 3% damage every time they hit the car. They seem to target all the windows first, but they can hit the trunk and hood as well. Running over zombie corpses at any speed does not do damage, not even to the tires. However, you can easily lose control or flip your car from the bouncing when hitting them at high speed. I still recommend avoiding them. Hitting zombies at low speed also does no damage. The magic number when they stop doing damage is somewhere below 15 miles per hour. Higher speeds do around 1-3% to hood damage. It scales with speed. Don't go full road rage yet, because the game seems to have a function that kicks in when either too many zombies are nearby or you stay near them for too long. Once this kicks in, the car takes damage at a perilous rate. You can get away with jousting the zombies, do a pass through them, drive off, and turn around. During my testing, this rarely triggered damage, but beware that zombies can sometimes hit your car even if the attack animation is cancelled by bumping them. Now onto something I had never noticed before. When you lose your hood due to damage, the engine condition is damaged instead. This holds true in normal crashes with objects, but things change when zombies come into play. Even striking zombies at high speed has a low chance to damage the engine, rather it damages the tires. Tires can be replaced fairly easily, so this is a much more forgiving mechanic than I believed. Without a hood, if you can avoid crashing into objects, you can get away with driving and bumping zombies for a very long time. All this is similar in multiplayer, with the one issue being that the speedometer is highly inaccurate. 